Hey, what's up? It's almost 3 a.m. You alright? What's wrong? Sound really nervous. <sighs> you need my help? Uh, what for? I already helped you with work yesterday. You owe me for that still? Yeah, I remember you are reading about witchcraft or something. What does that have to do with anything? I thought it was just one of your random hyperfixations. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you try some stupid spell and get yourself cursed by some angry spirit or something? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> no? Not a spirit? Okay, then what was it? You... Tried to summon a demon? Of course you did, of all things. So, what is the objective here? Why would you even want to summon a demon in the first place? You know you can't handle horror stuff. Please, you can't even watch scary movies alone, are you for real? Ugh. Yeah, demons are not things you want to mess around with, believe me. Okay, I can't call myself an expert, but I'm pretty sure they're not that friendly. What kind of fanfic antics are you on, seriously? Think a demon is going to randomly fall in love with you after you summon them? <laughs> okay, that's enough internet for today. You need to stop trying out random rituals you find online. Those people have no idea what they're talking about. 90% of them are delusional phonies. How many times do I have to tell you to not mess around with things you don't understand? Seriously get hurt. Well, I wouldn't have to scold you if you actually used your brain. Oh. Just did it for fun? Because you think demons are hot. <laughs> but here you are. Calling me at 3 a.m. because you scared yourself. Yeah, all the single demons are lining up for that piece of ass, I bet. Fine, fine, I'll stop. You're just too fun to tease. What happened? Talk to me. Alright, I'm coming over. Calm down, you'll be fine. Trust me. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Oh, and stay away from any mirrors or reflective surfaces. And yes, that includes your phone. Just don't look at your reflection, okay? Wait until I get there. Mm-hmm. I'll be there before you can even blink. Open up, scaredy cat. Calvary's here. Happy to see me? Well, you should be. God, you're trembling. Hey. Hey. Look at me. I'm here. Nothing's gonna happen to you now. How did I get here so fast? Is that really what's important right now? <laughs> I'm on demon hunter duty because my best friend has a death wish, apparently. You're making me work overtime. Now, won't you invite me inside? I'd really like to meet this little friend of yours. Hey, maybe we could even get them to play a round of Cards Against Humanity. Okay, okay, relax. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So, your lamp broke, and the other lights kept flickering on and off. What else happened? Oh, nothing else? I mean, that's a good thing, isn't it? Huh? That's basic knowledge when it comes to otherworldly entities. Mirrors are portals, you know. When you look into them, you're basically begging whatever it is on the other side to come through and possess your dumb little self. Unlike you, I happen to pay attention to horror movies. <sighs> well, that's going to be a pain to clean up. Okay, that's enough.
You should know better than to fuck around like that in front of me. Not an ounce of respect for your elders, huh? Should I send you back forcefully? Or will you be a good little imp and go back on your own? I just got rid of the little pest. Isn't that what you wanted? Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm not going to hurt you, silly. If I truly wanted to hurt you, I wouldn't be here now, cleaning up your mess. What's with the panicked look, scaredy cat? The demon you asked for is here, not some puny imp, but a full-fledged archdemon in the flesh. Oh, come on, where's that confidence? Didn't you say you wanted a demon to fall in love with you? Do your worst. I can't wait for you to sweep me off my feet. <laughs> no, I'm not possessed. That'd be hilarious, actually. Some kind of demonception. I pity the poor sap who tried to possess a vessel I'm already occupying, though. <laughs> I'm me. The same me you've known all this time. Or am I? Do you remember how we met? Of course you don't. I just entered your life one day, and you accepted me. Never once questioned where I came from, or how I seem to know everything about you. You see, I've been watching over you for so long. Protecting you, making sure your delicious little soul doesn't get corrupted by some pathetic low-ranking imp. Before I actually got my claws on it. Kind of like a garden angel, right? Except not. <laughs> my intentions aren't so pure. Playing the role of best friend was just the easiest route for me. No hard feelings, I hope. Hmm, <laughs> did you leave food outside? It smells like it's already spoiling. But hey, don't throw it away, just give it to me. <laughs> How can I be hungry in such a situation? Well, that's the thing, kitty cat. I'm always hungry. All oh, right. I suppose I never properly introduced myself. How embarrassing. I can't tell you my real name, because human brains aren't equipped to comprehend such knowledge. Wouldn't want to drive you mad right off the bat, kitty cat. But I will give you a hint, since you're so curious. Gluttony is my preferred domain, and my preferred vice. There are seven of us archdemons, and I am the one who presides over the need to consume. Yes, the Lord of the Flies, Beelzebub, such silly names you humans have given me. Creative little things you are, unfortunately. None of those are correct. <laughs> oh, it's funny how mortals disregard gluttony as a lesser sin, when in reality, it is present in every creature that exists. It doesn't matter if it's sentient or intelligent. To survive, you must feed. The primal urge that drives every living creature. The need to eat. To devour until they are satisfied. And then some more. Because it's never enough. How can they stop? How can you stop? When it tastes so good, right? It's only natural to want more. 
That's the reason why I'm so strong, scaredy cat. Why you always feel so overwhelmed with emotions, with needs, with cravings whenever I'm around. I am hunger itself. You see, unlike my fellow archdemons who are tied to domains that depend on sentience, my domain extends to every single living thing. From microbes to humans, we all have to eat. Even lust and wrath, the other two primal urges, have limited domains when compared to me. <laughs> yes, that's all you need to know. Enough for that tiny brain of yours to comprehend that I am not to be fucked with. Oh, you are adorable. Clueless, but adorable. The only reason I let you get away with so much? Because I'm committed to the role, darling. Overprotective best friend? That's who you want me to be. What you see in me is purely a reflection of your deepest desires. You want someone to take care of you. To comfort you. That's what your soul craves. And oh, kitty cat. There's nothing I love more than feeding you. Watching your soul glow in contentment whenever I fulfill those emotional needs. Your energy. Your emotions. They are mind-numbingly delicious. You are a full course meal and I cannot get enough of you. No other mortal has ever managed to satisfy my cravings. So... You should be proud of yourself. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's not how you're supposed to look at your best friend. Is that hunger I see in your eyes? Maybe it's time for us to update the best friend label to something more fitting. <laughs> <laughs>